Hey, what's up guys, BK. So we're out here at JSR Engines with Sergio. Gonna get his car pretty much full, bolts on everything. And then he's gonna get a live tune. What's in your car again? Uh, basically a PRL catalog, so PRL intake, PRL inlet. Um, I went with the JSR down high, so that's the only thing that's not PRL. JSR has a 5 inch down to a 3 inch uh, merge collector, which is high flow. Yeah. I couldn't get a hold of the PRL uh, 5 inch high flow, so everything's on back order. So I yeah, yeah. had to go with what was available. Um, and then we did a PRL uh, front pipe. Uh, stock exhaust. So Stock exhaust currently? Yep, stock exhaust on an E30 tune by John P. Basically, uh, FK tuning development. So he uh, remote tunes for us you know, okay. for the car. So it made good power. Uh, 434, 417 at church, and then uh, 413 and 402 here. Okay. Yeah. And then, what are they doing to it today? Or so today, uh, I was gonna upgrade the fuel system to get a little bit more power at the stock turbo. Yeah. But we'll say, well, while we're already in there, just we go ahead and just do the P600. So. Luckily, um, JSR was able to get a hold of a P600, so um, I was lucky in that I was one of the four. That yeah, because I saw they had four in stock. That was it, yeah. So I was able to jump on that, um, you know, give me that favor of basically, you know, allowing me to get it because there's only there's so many people that want it. Yeah. But uh, I was able to get it, thanks, thankfully. So uh, it's a big difference uh, going from full bolt on to a P600. I was stock about a month ago. So I went from stock to full bolt on. Yeah, that's two a weeks. big difference. It's a huge I'm, difference. Like me personally, I'm still pretty happy with 360. Obviously, yeah. I go into Ricky's as one yeah, thing, F, but F, now F, going from 300 to. Yeah, from 280 <laughs> to like 400, it was, it was a massive jump. Um, I had to use the torque kit. Mm -hmm. uh, the stock treble hook hits so hard now. It, it just it spools. Yeah. I, even at two, two and a half, I can already feel the spool. And then by three and a half, four, it's, it's, it's all there. You know? and so the first time I mashed it, like I normally would, yeah. I basically changed lanes. You were tripping so out. I was. It's a lot of torque. It's it's something to get used to, obviously. Nice, but nice. Um, the torque hit is amazing. So now we're running the P six hundred. Now yeah, you're gonna it, be jumping two lanes or what? Well, we're gonna move the torque a little bit to the right, I think. Okay. So it'll come on a little more linear, you know, instead of just like that full hit that yeah. the soccer boy does. But then just more top end. So I, I want more top end. So want more, more top end. Yeah, more above 5,000. So I think this will just not run out of breath like the stock turbo does. Yeah, just yeah. carry me a bit, just a little bit higher. Okay. So I'm hoping for, you know, 500, 525. A fuel JSR fuel system. Okay. So it's basically the XDI high fuel pressure pump. Uh, Deutsche works the 300C in tank pump. And then we're doing the high pressure line. Um, that's basically the JSR uh, high line service. So they basically get it um, bored and tapered. So it helps with the, the pulsations of the, of the high pressure fuel pump, okay. which had been an issue. So yeah, yeah. it's those little things that I think help out because I don't want any issues with the car. And so it's all pretty much figured out. They're just basically relying on their expertise to get me, you know, everything just kind of one shot. Yeah, yeah. And one and done. Okay. So, um, and today, you know, it's everything's going to be pretty much done in one shot um, from full bolt on to P600 yeah, yeah. and the tune. Yeah. You know, and John's going to get on here and maybe an hour, hour and a half, and we'll be, we'll be good. So yeah. we'll go from E30 to hopefully E45 or so, and then E50 if we need it, but I think E45 should probably be yeah. enough. Yeah. One of the things I learned is you can run a little bit more E, not to gain power, but just in case it's not Safety. a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I run E to begin with. Yeah, um, it's a little bit cheaper because it's your daily, right? Right, so. and I, it's my daily driver. I put about 1,000 miles a month on it. And so on 91 that I came in with, John was like, never go back to that gas station ever again. I said, why? why? I said, the Octane was not 91. So that's Chevron, and I was like amazed. So uh, the E for me is more of an insurance policy that the Octane is going to be there and the, and the timing that we're yeah. running is good. Um, I went to a different Chevron, so hopefully, you know, today the the 91 is 91, and uh, with and, the E. And are you running the PRL or the Ciromoto Flex Fuel? Uh, it's a PRL. Okay. Yeah, PRL. I, I initially got a Xenocron from Farable. I, w I went, got a Farable tune, um, Hondata, and the Flex Fuel kit. Yeah. Um, however. I wanted to run the PRL, the PRL wasn't available. Mm. So JSR, again, came through, he had the PRL in stock, I said that, and uh, we're also putting the um, Rampage MAF, mm -hmm. so that's, that also makes a, yeah, a, big, a big deal. The Rampage just, Waste yeah, MAF. Just for the scaling and, and being able to just, you know, tune it without any issues on the airflow. Yeah. And that was the big deal, so um, 
Yeah, and I've heard good things um, from Butler with the whole race map. It helps out a lot with the whole yeah, tuning. Yeah, you don't have to trick anything. Yeah, there's it no just, manipulation. Yeah, it reads what it reads. It scales where it's supposed to with the airflow. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm making so much more power and so much more air, obviously the stock one wasn't gonna gonna cut it. So yeah. Are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I mean. I don't. I don't want to lose a motor. To, like so to these like, JSR guys, it's normal. It's another it's, day. It's but every day. but for you, yeah. even for me, man, I'm hella pumped for you. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get you know in the car and start pushing it. Yeah, that's the fun part. Um, you know, initially we'll probably go out on the tune just to kind of calibrate everything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, let them do their thing, yeah, their, yeah, their live tune and yeah, stuff, yeah, and then yeah. once they're done, done whatever it is, and then that's when yeah, you jump on. Go for a ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I see. The, I think is the car lifted right now? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's lifted. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's but you're running on stock suspension. Okay. Yeah, and it's on uh, Titan Seven, the TD Sixes, and uh, eighteen by nine and a half, forty-five offset. The only thing is now with pushing five hundred, those tires, are, they're not gonna. <laughs> for they for were street, all, they for were street, already, they're great. Four hundred, they were already screeching. Yeah, well, not, not too bad, but um, I think I'm gonna try to go like a two ninety-five. Yeah. Uh, and then work my way to a three hundred five. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I have to get more of the stick spec, ten and a half, ten point seven, to kind of fit it up. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave the rear as a two sixty five or a two seventy five tire mm -hmm. on that wheel, but on the front, so I'm probably going to go to at least a ten and a half. Yeah, and yeah. And try to go to like a two ninety five. Yeah, you're going to have to for sure. That, I just noticed right now because you're. I saw the Michelin, which looks great. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh shoot, you know, the PS four S. I know they're not a. Uh, yeah, these are the Cup 2s. Um, oh, oh the, yeah. the new version, right? Yeah, they're, I got these about two months ago. Okay, yeah, yeah so it's so a brand, the new, new version the of the newest one PS4S, got, um, whatever, I the Cup. I do want to try the new Bridgestone 71 RS. They have a new Bridgestone 71 RS. Are those replacing the RE71? Yeah, R's, yeah. So they just added an S to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's their newest compound, their newest tire. So I love those tires on my FA5, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'll try them on the Yeah, for daily, the they're going to be great. And then yeah, yeah, because, I mean, I want them to warm up quick because I'm just 8, 10 minutes from home to Oh, grip. yeah. So I need them to warm up quick and, and be grippy as on my way home. So that's, you know, I, I don't have one, two, three laps to yeah, kind of yeah. warm them up and then, you know, go. Like, yeah, yeah. So when I send it, usually it's like, you know, a 10, 15-minute drive uh, or a, like a 30-minute session maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, man. We're excited. We'll let them do their thing and then we'll come back right now and see what's up. And you got the Hasport motor mouse? Yeah, that's the first thing I did. Um, I didn't like the engine movement. Which one are these? The 62? Yeah, these are the, the, the streets. The, uh, I am going to upgrade the rear to 70 because the, the rear... You did all, th all three 62? <laughs> yeah. Um, Hotsport said that 70 uh, with the HPD car was uh, affecting the knock control because mm. it was it was just too, too much, much vibration. Too much noise, yeah. So they said, for especially for a street car, just use the street mounts. If you need to, if if you're still getting too much flex, upgrade the dog in the back. So the rear motor mount. Yeah. That's why I'm going to go to 70 and just see how that feels. Yeah. Should, the 70 should be good. I think I'm going to upgrade mine. Too. Yeah. Because it just there's still too much movement. Yeah, on your yeah. Pool, and the more power you add, it's just more. Oh movement. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I don't want to go to a seventy. Nice, nice. So we just couldn't get it in time. <laughs>
So okay. You basically take them off and then put them back on. Okay. okay. Down pipe three, high long. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I think the stock down pipe has studs. And you just take out the nut. Most of the time, the nut comes off with the stud. But the down pipe, the new down pipe that you get just comes off. Yeah, might as well use the new hardware. Yeah. yeah. New gasket, and that's pretty much it. Yep. And then uh, more cool, and I believe the system, and then. And then the rear motor mount is just this one, right? Yeah. This big the bowl here, and then the one yeah, under you here. Take all these tens off and these plastic clips. Yeah. Hold the flat down, or some people even get ghetto and they cut this off. Yeah. That's that's feasible, but then it's kind of annoying just having this. Yeah, because you can't really use your your under tray anymore. Yeah, which is the whole point, right? You want to keep this aerodynamic plastic yeah. piece. Sweet. Just uh, calibrating the wastegate, and then we got to pour coolant, and then uh, upload a map, and then start it. I could put a turbo on without a fuel system and just run it on the stock map just to bleed the coolant system. But with the injectors and the high pressure fuel pump, you need a code to unlock the API pump. So in simple English, don't turn on the car until it gets flashed because the high pressure pump's not going to work. Send it on the dyno once the coolant's split. Yep. Is there a specific turbo that you prefer or preference or? Like that I like? Yeah. Honestly, it's a hard choice between the G25 660 and the G30. Just because I love the freight train of a, uh, of a G30, it's all yeah. top end, but the G25s are just active all the it, time. It's just, it just goes. It's just go, yeah. It's I mean, just go, go, go in the G30. There is a slight lag, but, um, you know, obviously with any upgraded turbo, it's going to be like, but yeah, honestly, for that, I would say G25, just because it's a good all-around turbo. Have you guys done any of the Mitsubishi Stage 2? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we had a car that's coming on D Sport magazine. Okay. It's full bolt-ons, uh, our fuel system, uh, MHI, and it made 508 here. Yeah, it made 508 on E50. Uh, he took it to D Sport and didn't make as much power, and he went unprepared. He went on E60 on accident. Oh yeah, well, too much ethanol, yeah, so that, the car's gonna run conservative. Yeah. yeah, but it still made 490. Oh no, four uh, 480. Which is still pretty good for E60. Yeah. For, for being like an E40 is, tune. E50 is the full power. Yeah, yeah. Where they slap on the tune. Putting some best for, best for JDM hood spacers. First start up with the base map. Just let everything move around real quickly. Oh, oh. It already sounds good. What is that? Already. Wee, wee, wee. Uh, already hear the it sounds so quiet with the exhaust, the stock exhaust. Yeah, yeah, but they use turbo. Like, All you hear is pure turbo. Pure turbo noises. Yeah. And when I'm on it, that's all you're gonna hear. Because every other FK that I hear is like, Wah. yeah. Base map tune is on, which leading the cooling system. Are on, making sure the cooling's good. And put on the hooks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more type of content. Shout out to Surge. Thank you again for the invite. Thank you for hosting us here, JSR. Had a great time.